up everyone 7 27 p.m. here Cali uh, chilling just watching lockup on Netflix uh, that's what's up all day What's up, Naomi? What's up, sis? How are you doing today, Naomi? Are you doing good today? <coughs> oh my god, Nicole Humphrey's in the room. Are you doing good today, Naomi? That's good. Did you have a good day at SBS program? Hey, bestie. Good. Hi, Melanie. How are you today? How's everyone doing tonight? How am I doing? Oh. Uh, just smoking. My fault. <laughs> I'm good. That's good. All day. Do you guys have any weekend plans, any of you? I'm bored tonight. Oh my god. All oh, bad. My girlfriend's asleep right now. Resulted in a, a several other disturbances in the dorm. White, who 
was currently in jail awaiting trial for murder, has been moved to a single person disciplinary segregation cell and put on SORC status, the highest security designation in the entire jail. For now, he will be locked up 23 hours a day, lose all his privileges, and have little more to do than exercise or sleep. What did you do? What did you do to Officer Hammond? Yes. Heather. All bad trouble. All day. Oh, 
I see him, so I couldn't. I was already out running around the projects. I don't deal with him at all. I don't deal with him. It's too late to turn back. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing he can do to change my circumstances. But stay the hell out of my face. I take total responsibility for anything I do. I'm never going to sit here and say, ah, my daddy would have raised me different because it is what it is. I take responsibility for, for any position that I put myself in. at the Louisville Metro Department of Corrections Jail. It's rarely quiet. There's new arrestees from all over the city and county are brought here for booking. While most are bond out, many others will be detained in jail indefinitely until their charges are resolved. Just hours earlier, 18-year-old Danielle Carmack became one of the youngest and newest inmates to be assigned a bed here. Carmack was arrested for a probation violation. Her original conviction was second degree manslaughter. Two years earlier, she killed her father. I just remember him grabbing a gun and I right at his head. I mean, yes, my intentions were to kill at that moment. So I shot him multiple times to the back. had filed reports of abuse in the home. The night before we get in an argument and then he starts hitting me, starts pulling my hair, starts punching my face, he blacks my eye, bloodies my nose, and finally he just throws up his hands and just goes to bed. You know, my heart's beating out my chest, I'm shaking. Carmack says when the abuse continued to fall, she felt her life was in danger. She picked up her father's gun and shot him in the back of the head as he sat on the couch. How many times did you shoot him? 10, 12 times. Just, it's horrifying. It's very traumatic and it's very, it's something I dream about. I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Carmack says not all memories of her father are negative. My dad, he'd take me places, you know, we'd go to, back to the movies sometimes. He took me to concerts. Cause that's one thing we did get along about, you know, ACDC is like our band. He introduced me to it. And I've been listening to this since probably the day I was born because he even said that he used to bounce me around in my mom's stomach with the radio turned up of ACDC playing. I loved him. He was my father. That's who he was. And I'll always love him and miss him. After the shooting, Karma turned herself into the police. Originally charged so, with no, her. Sleep. She Night, everyone.